I'm currently a, a junior in college, so I'm studying illustration. And my kind of my goal is to get into character design or storyboarding for animation. And so this actually started as just a story idea that、um, I could kind of develop and then storyboard. And then I loved it so much that I wanted to just keep going. And so I ended up, you know, going through the animation process as well. And it's gonna it's turning into a full. You know, animated short film, which is awesome. So the story of Elephant Tracks is about a man who has to overcome guilt and grief in order to rekindle his relationship with his mother,、um, who got in a bad accident,、um, which our main character Wesley blames himself for. And so he kind of has to overcome that to kind of, you know, rekindle that relationship with his mom. These are the characters from Elephant Tracks. So on the right we have our main character Wesley, and then on the left is his mom, and in the middle is Ellie the elephant. And so Ellie is a stuffed elephant that his、uh, that Wesley's mom gave him when he was young,、um, and since then he kind of put him in a box and kept him in the closet until one day、um, Ellie comes to life and is part of the reason that leads Wesley to go see his mom in、uh, the hospital and kind of. Is is that a guide and assists Wesley in taking that step to overcome his his guilt?、I、wasn't super familiar with animation、um, or like animation programs, and I was trying to figure out like what good animation apps to use were. And I tried some, and I didn't really love them. And then I came across Calipeg, and it was like exactly what I was looking for. As I've learned more, it it has just proven itself over and over again. So it's been a great, great help so far. At the very beginning, it actually started as kind of like a comic book idea, where I would make just illustrations. And then as I worked on it more and kind of became more excited about the project, I I got more ambitious.、It、started as that comic book idea, and has since then shifted into a full seven-minute、uh, animated short film. It's mostly just me at this point, at least. But I have a lot of other people helping with backgrounds and coloring and editing. Compose a custom score for the film once it's fully animated. These are all people that、uh, I go to school with since I'm a student, and so it's just really great having that collaboration in like a school setting as well. And it's definitely ambitious because I have my schoolwork as well. All pre-production stuff is done. We've done all the character design, storyboards, everything like that. Um, and so we're mainly focusing on the animation part. I have my artists also working on backgrounds for the the short film, and some other programs that we use are、um, Procreate along with Krita. It's really easy to use those with Calipeg, and you can just import the backgrounds right in there.、Um, and so, like, I'll animate a shot, and like halfway through, my artist will finish the background, and then I'll import it. It's a very mobile production for sure. I actually rarely use my computer. It's mostly my iPad、um, or my phone. Usually, do a lot of the work from home, but a lot of it from my couch. So you know, I'm just chilling out on my couch, or I'll bring it to school and do it there, or I'll even go to like coffee shops or something, work in there for a few hours. But having the mobility of the iPad is really, really great.、But、like I mentioned earlier, I, I'm very new to animation still, so I'm kind of learning things.、Um, but I use a lot of reference that I shoot. So like, I'll do a movement or make a facial expression. And I'll import that video into Calipeg, which is another feature I love.、And、so you can see this armature, and as I just scrub through, you can see it's a very rough idea of that, and that's using the the video reference that I take. Any artist should know that drawing from life is is the best reference. So I use these markers to mark where my keyframes are, and then once I have those keyframes, I go in and I do one part of the body at a time, and then I add Ellie,、uh, Wesley's stuffed elephant. Once that all comes together, it makes a complete shot. I kind of just work on it whenever I'm able to. Because、um, my schedule changes a lot, so when I have school and classes,、um, I'm not able to work on it as much, and so I kind of just work on it whenever I have free time. I think just from like a psychological standpoint, it、um, like tricks my brain into thinking I don't have to like go and get set up and like set up my computer and my station and everything. I can just pick up my iPad, sit on the couch, and animate. It's no big deal. When I first started the project, I did a lot of research about animation, and I watched a lot of YouTube videos,、um, like you know, spacing, squash and stretch, all the different techniques. I was very inspired by a lot of the Disney and Pixar short films that don't use dialogue, and so I kind of wanted to incorporate that into my short film. And so my short film does not have any kind of dialogue. To me, that's really cool because it relies more on the animation and relies more on the visuals、um, to tell the story.
this was my first shot I ever animated. So it was a big learning curve just in this two second clip. This one's a little further along in the pipeline. As you can see, it has color. We kind of use um, color to play into the story. And so when our main character is, you know, at his best, his brightest, all the colors will be very saturated um, and bright. But then when he's kind of, you know, lower, kind of in the dumps, his colors will be more desaturated. So this one is a little different. This was co-animated with another one of my artists. Um, so I made the keyframes and then he did most of the in-betweens. Just naturally you grow as an artist and you, you learn new things, your skill improves. And so I thought about how that will affect the, the animation and kind of the animation I'm doing now and the animation I'll do say like a year from now. If it gets to that point, I'll definitely go back and kind of update some of the shots that I did earlier on. We're still very early on in the animation process. We only have about 30 seconds animated um, out of seven minutes, so still got a, a ways to go, but I'm hoping to, to finish it by next August, and I'm hoping to get more animators on the team. I'm, in, I'm talking with some people right now, and so once that happens, hopefully that'll start, you know, moving things along quicker. Even 30 seconds is, is really cool to see. Um, so even though we're still early on, still got a long way to go. Um, it's really exciting. These um, are some of the backgrounds that our background artists have been working on. Part of the of Wesley's office, and then this is the outside of his office on the city street. I give the artist a description of what the background should look like, what it should include, um, and then they're free to add stuff on that as well. And then they reference the animatic for that shot that they're working on. If it's something that the character interacts with or moves behind or something like that, I'll have them just not include that. And then all that's that becomes part of the animation process. Something I was kind of afraid of when I first like stepped into animation, you know, since I didn't know much, I wondered how you kept the character looking like the same character throughout the whole shot. So I was kind of worried I wouldn't be able to do that with where my artistic st skills are. But I've learned, um, you know, using keyframes, and everything it kind of helps uh, plan out the shot and keep it consistent throughout the whole thing. And I think I still got some some learning to do there, but um, it's been a, a big improvement. I think if you're thinking about animating or creating a short film or whatever it may be, do it. It might be a little intimidating and uh, ambitious, but that's the fun part. You know, I expect there to be kind of like flaws in my short film. It's my first one. I've never animated before. This is all pretty new to me still, but I have a big passion for it and I really enjoy it. And so if you enjoy it as well, I'd say try it and expect that it may not be perfect, but um, you'll learn a lot from it if you put the work in. Just wanted to thank you um, and thank CaliPeg for the awesome app that it is. It's been, a, it's been a pleasure using it and it's been, you know, able to make, to help me make this short film, which is um, very ambitious project. If you guys are interested in the project, feel free to check us out on Instagram, um, elephant.tracks, and watch the short film when it's out. That's the best way you can support us. Mm -hmm.